welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I have an interesting case study to share with you all today. I am going to discuss about a very rare case of tuberculosis in a young child which is causing drug rashes. Now we all know that tuberculosis is a common infection that presents itself with various types of manifestations. However, anti-tubercular drugs are known for their toxicities but still they are the drug of choice in such situations. However, it is the drug rash with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms which is the dress reaction which is a rare toxicity secondary to the anti-tubercular drugs. Now, the Journal of Associations of Physicians of India describes a rare case of tubercular abscess and the dress syndrome, the course of which was further complicated by other adverse drug reactions. A 14-year-old girl presented with fever and lower back pain associated with loss of appetite and weight for over a month. On examination, she had localized tenderness in the right lumbar region. Her tuberculin skin test was strongly positive and ultrasonography revealed a right-sided abscess. She was empirically started on the anti-tubercular drugs, which is weight-based isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide and ethambutol from an outside centre after which her fever resolved in about two weeks time. Now, three weeks after the initiation of this anti-tubercular therapy, she developed an erythematous skin rash all over the body along with a recurrence of fever. Now, the routine lab examination revealed transaminitis and eosinophilia. Her anti-tubercular drugs were withheld. So, with the diagnosis of dress, she was started on high dose of steroids. Tapering of the dosage of steroids was attempted multiple period of times but was associated with the recurrence of symptoms. Methotrexate was then added to the regimen to reduce the dosage of steroids as she was developing steroid-induced hyperglycemia and Cushingoid habitus. Steroids and methotrexate were continued for a total of three months. Meanwhile, the abscess was aspirated and the culture was positive for mycobacterium tuberculosis. Severe complications were seen due to many drugs that were administered during the program. Hematological suppression is a well-known duration-dependent side effect of this drug, which resolves with drug discontinuation as in this present case. The other side effects of long-term linezolid, which require continuous monitoring, include peripheral neuropathy as well as optic neuropathy. Also, physicians must be aware of close monitoring of drug interactions, including drugs which may precipitate serotonin syndrome along with linezolid. So, the researchers concluded that physicians treating tuberculosis must be watchful and wary of drug-related side effects. Early identification and prompt management of these side effects is definitely a requirement to maintain treatment adherence as well as achieve positive outcomes. That's all for today from the Journal Club End. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.